Hey there, Aaron here from InquireEd. The question formulation technique, often referred to as the QFT, was developed by the Right Question Institute as a simple step-by-step -step process that helps anyone produce, improve, and prioritize questions. It's a powerful strategy, and that's why we're here with a 90-second breakdown of how the QFT can work in your classroom. The QFT starts with a Q focus, the spark that jumpstarts the production of questions. The Q focus can be a statement, image, phrase, or situation, as long as it is clear and interesting enough to activate curiosity. One hard and fast rule, though, the Q focus can't be a question. Before you start producing questions, pick someone to write down and number the questions as they come. Then review the rules. Rule number one, generate as many questions as possible. Rule number two, do not discuss, answer, or judge any questions. Rule number three, write down every question exactly as it is stated. Rule number four, change any statements to questions. Take four to five minutes to produce questions using a timer to keep you on task. Once you're done, it's time to improve your questions. Set your timer for another four to five minutes, then categorize questions into open and closed, labeling each with a C or an O. Next, discuss the advantages and disadvantages of both types of questions. Finally, change one open question to closed and vice versa. Okay, only a few more steps. First, Prioritize your questions, setting the timer for three minutes and placing an X next to your top three. Don't forget to discuss why you've chosen them. Afterwards, take another two minutes to discuss and plan your next steps, describing what you'll do with your questions. Don't forget to reflect on what you've done and what you've learned. And that's a 90 second breakdown of the QFT. Now go ask some questions.